Yes, 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 yes. Finally, my local Home Depot has this new Milwaukee tool finally in stock, Gen 3, coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. All right, everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I finally got it. I finally got my Generation 3 M12 fuel impact driver. This is the previous generation, Generation 2, and there are some stark differences, which is why I wanted to go ahead and grab a new version, and I am going to be giving away my basically brand new Gen 2. So let's go ahead and open the box, take a look and see what comes in the kit for a Gen 3 system. Well, I guess I didn't need my knife anyway. All right, part number for this is 3453-21. Cool thing about this kit is that it comes in a pack with a battery and a charger, everything in one little kit. How cool is that? All right, I have waited for months to get my hands on this guy. And there is one real key feature that's gonna be the difference between this one and that one. So in the kit, we have our Gen 3 Impact. We've got a two amp hour M12. This is the CP, which are the higher quality batteries. And we have a charger here and also user manual, etc. It comes in a nice case. I like those. Pretty good. So let's get down the meat and taters. Hopefully there's some charge on this battery, and there is. And let me tell you, one of the first things that you should notice about these two drivers is this right here. Come on. All right, you can see the difference. And that is the number one reason why I wanted to get Gen 3. Because take a look, if my fastener's right here, see how it's lit up and it's in direct, you got three LEDs that show all around it. Now watch this. So this one here, I get shadows and you, it's kind of hard to see the shadows. See how the shadows are right there? And believe it or not, those shadows are very <laughs> offending. They, they have messed me up a couple times. Um, but let's go over to Gen 3. So these are supposedly gonna be faster. But it does sound like it's, it's, it's a torquey little beast. Look at that, this is how it breaks. So it does have a battery status indicator, same as the old one. You can see right here. Um, it's got a uh, bumper that's integrated now with the front cone, see that? Now it's right there. Whereas the old one, they had a uh, glued on bumper. Kind of interesting. So one of the things that Milwaukee does for their tools is they have a three speed right here. So speed one is one of my favorites for when you're putting together electronics because it's a low torque and low speed. And when it starts to tighten, it's an electronic clutch and it stops what you're doing. So as soon as you start cross threading or as soon as a fastener gets tight, it stops. Now, believe it or not, both of these are extremely powerful and they're powerful enough to actually snap off fasteners. So having that electronic clutch, especially for smaller fasteners, is really nice. Look at that, nice. Put it on drill. Oh yeah. I can tell you there's a lot of wind that comes out of these holes right here. For sure, and right here on the side. Lots of wind comes out of this back fan versus this one. We got a, some air that comes out of these ducts. Not nearly the amount of cooling, but that's okay because for biomed work, it's gonna be a lighter job anyway. So anyway, I, I really wanted to step up and get these. Supposedly they have a nicer chuck too, but yeah, I'm not really feeling it. It feels uh, like the chuck is pretty much the same. Let's go ahead and get a bit so we can try this out. All right, so let's go with a hefty bit so I can grab onto it. All right, 
So these have uh, zero insertion force chucks, which means you don't have to grab the collar or anything. You push them in and they lock, just like that, effortless. And it's, it's very locked in, in fact. Yeah. Let's try this one. Look at that, it's so beautiful. I have always liked Milwaukee tools, but I'll tell you what, they're definitely moving in the right direction. So my big attractor for this model right here is easily the three LEDs. It eliminates all the shadows around the fastener. If you were working in a cabinet or something, it gives you a wider range. You can see how much it lights up the surrounding area. That's huge when you're putting in fasteners, especially when you're trying to, when you're trying to relate one hole to another. I can't even see over here with this one. It's a wider light, like a, a higher frequency, but it's just, it just doesn't have the spread as that one. So I'm gonna be making the switch over to the Gen 3, and I'll probably be giving away my Gen 2 sometime soon. Well, we'll have to stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, that is my Gen 3 Milwaukee Fuel M12 impact driver versus my Gen 2 impact driver. Both of them are excellent tools, just a couple niceties. Right now, Home Depot had this for $99 for the entire kit and as soon as I seen it I had to nab it because I've been waiting for months for this thing to come in and they finally give a price reduction and then I'm just gonna grab it as soon as I see it anyway guys that is it Milwaukee impact drivers 2.0 versus 3.0 and I'm extremely excited I finally got it